Hi, so this is a different kind of video. Let me know if you like this format as well as my other content. Um, today I will be presenting a presentation I made a couple years ago about Stonewall. Um, it has become apparent that not a lot of people know our history. Stonewall is a big event in queer history, which is um, how we got the general population of the world to you know it's start talking and rising up so this presentation is called how did we get here what does stonewall mean to you this is a quote from britannica.com uh, the link to the article will be in the, the description one such well-known gathering place for young gay men, lesbians and transgender people in the Stonewall Inn in Greenwich Village, a dark seedy crowded bar, reportedly operating without a liquor license. In the early morning hours of Saturday, June 28, 1969, nine policemen entered the Stonewall Inn, arrested employees for selling alcohol without a license, roughed up many of its patrons, cleared the bar, and in accordance with New York State criminal, criminal statute that authorized the arrest of anyone not wearing at least three articles of gender-appropriate clothing, took several people into custody. It was the third such raid on Greenwich Village gay bars in a short, short period. The time, This time the people were milling outside the bar, did not retreat or scatter, as they almost always had in the past. The anger was apparent and vocal as they watched bar patrons being forced into a police van. They began to jeer and jostle at the police and threw bottles and debris. Accustomed to more passive behaviour, even from larger gay groups, the policemen called for reinforcements and barricaded themselves inside the bar while some 400 people rioted. The police barricade was repeatedly breached and the bar was set on fire. Police reinforcement, reinforcements arrived in time to extinguish the flames, and they eventually dispersed the crowd. The riots from outside the Stonewall Inn waxed and waned for the next five days. Many historians characterize the uprising as a spontaneous protest against the perpetual police harassment and social discrimination suffered by a variety of sexual minorities in the 1960s. Although there had been other protests by gay groups, the Stonewall incident was perhaps the first time lesbians, gays, and transgender people saw the value of uniting behind a common cause, occurring as it did in the context of civil rights and feminist movements. The Stonewall riots became a galvanizing force. The event sparked formation of the scores of gay rights organizations, including the Human Rights Campaign, Outrage, which is UK-based, GLAAD, formerly Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, PFLAG, formerly Parents, Families and Friends of Lesbians and Gays in Queer Nation. Who is Marsha P. Johnston? The P stands for Pay No Mind My Gender Identity. Marsha was an amazing leader. This video here, link in the description, is, says a little bit more about who she was. Um, just a content warning, this video contains mention of homophobia, ab abuse, police brutality, and transphobia. Feel free to not watch this video if those topics are triggering to you. Hmm. Um, as said in the video, black trans women are still the most targeted and the most attacked, and still a victim to police brutality. And for my conclusion, Stonewall is in many ways similar to the Black Lives Matter movement of 2020. It is the riot that started a conversation, got people talking about gay people, for better or for worse. But it's the riot that gave us whatever freedom we have today. We owe it to the many people who lost their lives to police brutality, to targeted attacks. Of course, don't come out till it's safe, only if you want to. But when or if you do, bask in the freedom in your identity. Make your mark on this earth that we have however much time left in. Be proud and don't let others take it away. Stand up for what you believe in. Spread your wings and be proud.